caught a handful. Thank you, Bishop Lee. Thank God. You may be seated. We're grateful this afternoon for all of you. Each one of you, thank God for Bishop Frazier, Bishop Jackson, Bishop Turner, Bishop Fierce, all the bishops, the elders. We have spent an enjoyable week together. We are now approaching the 1117 moment on our watches or clocks. Give a few. miss minutes or what have you. We're not going to be with you too long, believe me. But I want to let you know that uh, it's been a pleasure, an honor, and a privilege. As you've heard through many testimonies so far that there are those that have suffered many tragedies uh, during this past year. Loved ones have passed away, but we are here. Therefore, we don't know who's going to be here next year. So we ought to serve him while we have a chance. Now, I think I am going to deal with about 15 minutes, but if you get with us, we should be able to do this in seven and a half minutes. I don't think you have a problem with that. I think most of you are gone anyway. Your body is here. Your mind is being a drum major. Many years ago, Most of you do not know that I was born in this state. And many years ago, I went to a college not too far from here. But the Lord did nothing for me in the sense that I was able to hear the word until I left the state. I was going to a after leaving South Carolina State, I was going to transfer to a college in New York. But somewhere between here and there, the Lord got my attention. And uh, he introduced himself to me and called me and saved me. I was on my way to having met a minister who went to Shelton College in New York City, uh, Brooklyn. No, he's in New York, and he introduced me to the Lord, and we have been walking with the Lord almost from 1952 until now. Met a lot of people, seen a lot of things. Was in a very large organization at the time and we moved from New York to Connecticut for what we anticipated was a weekend, obviously. God moved in a miraculous way, and I have spent more time in Connecticut than I've spent any other place on the face of the earth. So if you open your Bibles with us to the 40th chapter That is the 25th chapter and 40th verse, I'm pretty sure. I just want to get my facts together and let you go. Of the book of Exodus. That 40th verse reads on this wise. And see to it that you make them according to the pattern 
which was shown you on the mountain. If you would turn to the eighth chapter of the book of Hebrews, verse 5 it reads on this wise who serve the copy and shadow of the heavenly things as Moses was divinely instructed when he was about to make the tabernacle. For he said, see that you make all things according to the pattern shown you on the mountain. If you were to flip to the ninth chapter and around the 23rd verse, it reads on this order. Therefore, it was necessary that the copies, you notice the others were singular, this is plural, of the things in the heavens, plural, should be purified with these, but the heavenly things themselves with better sacrifices than these. I'd like to draw your attention briefly to a thought, make it to the pattern. And now, I don't do this too often because I don't want anybody to put any more stress on my wife than she already has. Uh, there's been a lot of pros and cons down through the past five, six years. But she has been a great asset to me. You see, God knew what you needed. All right. And he knew what I needed. All right. He didn't give me your blessings. I'm not concerned about who you have. God knew what I needed. So God never made a mistake before. And he didn't make one this time. And ask her to stand. Dr. Geddes has a very intense. And no matter where I go, I get this kind of accolades. Is Dr. Geddes your wife? Says she is a great doctor. Her practice ranges between 75 to 85 percent of Caucasian. Most of them, most of the doctors who have families of CEOs send their children to her. She has, she's been with this group now approximately, I said seven years, eight years, and she is the second, maybe the youngest, all the others were male, but she has the second largest practice. So the Lord blessed me because he knew I would have conditions. You all have issues. But I would have conditions. And your issues couldn't straighten out my condition. So God had to put somebody that could help me when my conditions needed attention. So she was able to trick me to meet this doctor, that doctor through a call because of her position. So I'm here because God gave me what I need. So when my condition came up, 
it was caught in time. Praise the Lord. And when I was diagnosed with cancer a year ago, she was able to call somebody at Yale when they wanted to do what they want to do locally, I did not feel comfortable. So the word spread that I had this condition. Mm -hmm. But because God gave me what I needed, when I needed, yeah. I was able to get to the right place at the right time. Right. So when they cut me deep, wide, and frequent, and opened me up and got what they needed out, seven centimeters of the colon. They also took all kinds of CAT scans after it. I'm sure they didn't find anything above my shoulders and up. But they found out in the 27 lymph node and, uh, there was no cancer, so I need no chemo and I need no radiation. When they were ready to do the CAT scan, he asked her at Yale to come and look at these films with her, with them. They didn't want to miss anything, and the doctors had diagnosed this, that, and the other, and they found that I was okay. I knew I was going to be okay because God don't make no junk. God don't make any mistakes. You don't have to understand what God's doing, but you got to learn that you have to make it to the pattern. I worked in an industry in a certain field prior and while I was also pastoring from 1964 through 87 as a quality control analyst. In that field, you have to have what they call trace ability. All right. There has to be accountability. Mm -hmm. There has to be responsibility. Yeah. While doing this job, there are many times when people would come up with ideas and concepts and views and debate and arguments about whether they agreed with what the stats showed. But I was only checking something to the pattern. I see. Uh, it didn't matter who argued. It had to be, the things that we're using had to have traceability, documentary, documented it, that both national and international. Yes. It's not like us in church that we go by feeling. There is a Bureau of Measurements and Standards yes. in Washington, D.C., and there are other places in the world that there, but this had to be coordinated, certified, sealed, documented, so that it doesn't matter whether you don't like what I find, it had to be done according to the plan. Yes. Amen. So if Man knew that we need to have these things much, much more about God. That's right. See, we come into God's house. Amen. We don't like documents. Yes. Amen. We don't like to be held accountable. Amen. We don't want to be responsible. Yes. Therefore, we don't like traceability. Yes. We talk about genes praise the Lord, and other things. But basically, we like to argue off the cuff mm -hmm. based on feelings and what we think in makes us intelligent. But that was not my argument. If I found it to be so and placed it and wrote it on the paper, as far as I'm concerned, I'm expecting you to make it to that requirement. Here we have in this morning's lesson as we are about to go home now that God had some documented. I mentioned to you he first talked about a single copy. Yeah. And the copy that God used was back on the mount yes, 
and Moses was called divinely by God, it didn't matter what Israel thought. They had to conform to God's original copy. Praise the Lord. And the copy was in heaven. Even if we didn't like it down here on earth. Therefore, the scripture says, forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven because that is where the master copy is. Help, Lord. So we change Bibles and we change words and we make videos and we argue even if we don't know what we're arguing about. Sometimes I, I play a little devil advocate. Oh, you do? Yes. I get people hot and bothered and fired up so they can argue without thinking. Yeah. And when they get all emotionally charged and start arguing, then I change it around and say the same thing they were saying. Mm -hmm. But they're so infuriated by arguing mm -hmm. till concentration disappears. Yeah. And therefore, just for the sake of arguing, they keep on arguing. <laughs> Not even listening to their own argument. My Lord, my Lord. Even if they were wrong, and I knew they were wrong, I just see that where their head is. Yeah. Praise the Lord. So God had fixed it so until he gave Moses this copy. Yeah. When Moses got down and looked at the people, he became frustrated. Yeah. Until he broke the copy. Yes, yeah. Praise the Lord. But the original copy was being held by God yeah. in the heavens. Yeah. Praise the Lord. So even if we don't like it and change it here on earth, it doesn't matter. Praise the Lord. I'm so glad, hallelujah, that he also gave Paul the chance to write about it, to certify it when he spoke to the Hebrews church. Then he referred to it as copies. Praise the Lord. So that when we find ourselves coming up short and not to our friends, our associates, liking, praise the Lord, he gave us the Holy Ghost, Amen. if you really get the Holy Ghost, to check back with the original manuscript, yeah. the real copy, yeah. to see whether you're lining up with God's word, yeah. praise the Lord. So sometimes when I speak, and I speak very firm, sometimes people feel that I'm almost dogmatic. Sometimes people feel you know, when I'm speaking that I don't like anybody. Sometimes people feel as though I feel like I've, I've been told this over and over now that I'm the only one right. But it doesn't matter what I feel. It doesn't matter what you think I feel like. When your perception comes in, I know where the copy is. If I change the copy for my feeling, then you have the right to change the copy for your feeling. All of us got some feelings, but everybody don't have a mind to check with the master copy. Praise the Lord. Therefore, you don't belong to me, and God told me not to be Lord over you. I don't want to know anything about you save Jesus Christ. Want to know him crucified. He is the master copy. Yeah. Therefore, when I need help, and I often need help, praise the Lord, I check in to the traceability, which is the Bible, to find the master copy so I can find out whether I am in standard and hallelujah. I have some responsibility, and I can be held accountable. Yes, sir. You can look around, you can find that most people do not want to be held accountable. That's right. Yeah. Speak, Bishop. Speak. Come on, Bishop. It's always from an emotional or psychological perspective or even a sociological concept that I am what I am because of you. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Some of us have been married for a while, mm -hmm. and you got children, you got a wife. Sometimes, sometimes you got yourself to deal with. But it's always, if you don't get yourself straightened out, it's somebody else that's caused me to do what I, want, what I wanted to do. Uh, yeah. uh, Praise the Lord. Praise but
But you see, it doesn't matter when you reach a certain age. You know, like Martin Luther King said, I've reached and come to the top of the mountain. It doesn't matter what I feel, praise the Lord, any longer. All that I want to know is that I have capability to the master coming. When I'm looking for a diagram, yeah. When I'm looking for a blueprint, yeah. I can go back to the national, yeah. international yeah. hero of standard, and I got the Holy Ghost yeah. to certify yeah. that it's all right, boy. Yeah. You don't have to believe it. Just receive it. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. You know what I think? God ain't all that bad after all. No, 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 no. I don't have no problem with God's word. No, no, sir. I need him a few minutes to go up in the air. Amen. I need him a few minutes to bring me down. Yeah, I need him every day to pick me up. Yeah. I need him every day to guide me along yeah. my way. Yeah. I don't have no beef no, with you. No. I don't have no ground to grind with any of you. All I'm here is standing in Christ's head to refer you back to the master. Back to the prophet. Back to the original. Back to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah. Praise the Lord. Uh, and in that time I get a little depressed uh, and a little upset uh, and I need to comfort and I need some hallelujah satisfaction. I don't have to come to you. I can just sneak away to Jesus. Uh, Lord have mercy. And somehow or another God fixed me. How he tweaks me up. He encouraged my heart. He give me joy, peace, and consolation. Praise the Lord, because he makes me aware that one day I'm going to stand before him. It doesn't matter whether you like me, but I had better love you. Because God by two immutable thing, no lie. This is not a black experience. I know if I get across that line, some of you will get upset. Praise the Lord. At any time, God can take red blood mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. yeah. and make us white as snow. Yeah. It has documentary yeah. and traceability. Yeah. All of us came here ugly together. Come on now. I don't care how good you look. I said all of us came here looking ugly and acting ugly together. But it takes the blood of Jesus Christ and ain't nothing else going to fix it. Don't want you to be my friend because you expect me to cut you some slack. Because I ain't cutting myself any slack. Come on, come on. This word doesn't change. Hallelujah. Simply because I'm not up to it. And if I tell you that you don't have to because somebody else don't like it. Praise the Lord. I am a partner in your crime. I am not here because I am so good. I am here, as I said, after I left South Carolina to go to New York, it's because God saved me. Amen. I'll be the biggest fool, the oldest fool, and the most stupidest man you can find. <laughs> Seeing that God had brought me so far and done so much Amen. to kind of conform to your theories that I'll be a friend of yours, then have to be an enemy of God. Yeah. I'm going to let you go now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Everybody ought to be going back to their church to make it to the pattern. Praise the Lord. Make it to the pattern. Help, Lord. Because when God come back, he's getting people that conform to the pattern. Doctors not going to be able to get up and the undertaker's not going to be able to get up out the grave unless they conform to the pattern. My mama, which died back in January, my father, which is a Jehovah Witness at this time in 90 some years, saying that I live to love people. Praise the Lord. Huh? That's what he said. He lived to love people. All he does is talk about the Lord, even though he's a Jehovah's Witness. I was raised in that stuff until I got, until God snatched me and showed me the pattern. Help, Lord. 
And when I get together with him, we don't fight. We don't argue. I don't stop talking to him. He doesn't stop talking to me. But I call him, we talk about the pattern. Praise the Lord. So my wife and I, we get along together in the house, even if you don't like it. Because our home is run by the pattern. late. <laughs> Somebody said, you can sit down. Somebody said, after Mother Gettys had passed, that the Lord had shown them two years before she died that they were supposed to be married to me. The Lord showed them. They didn't check the You got that right. <laughs> You got that right. If I was married to them, I'd been a dead pastor. Bishop, Bishop. Everybody in a wife. You right. There's a lot of people that's a knife. Amen. And they'll cut your heart out without any season. Amen. So praise the Lord. Don't get mad. I'm not putting anybody down. I'm not telling you. you know, every man is not a husband. Amen. Most men are nothing but breath and riches. Amen. That's right. They don't have much breath and they got a whole lot of bitches. That's why they wear their pants down between the legs. Yeah. Yeah, boy. You're right, bitch. Lord of mercy. Yeah. Uh huh. Good job. If I didn't get that out, you all would be very upset with me because you know that's not my man rule not to let you all go without thinking. See, but people wear their pants way down there and their pants behind them over and down until they're. Stuff can show, because everybody else wants to be like the society. Uh -huh. They don't care what the pattern says. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Right. Yeah. So I'm not in here to be dogmatic. The Bible tells me to lift up a standard. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't come here. I didn't come here to show off. I didn't come here because I'm expecting something in return. I'm working. Every day at home in the church. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise and I'm trying to do it by the pattern. Yeah. Now, people are angry with me because they don't like what the pattern look up there. Some of you all have been up there. Amen. Praise the Lord. But it's not my job to kind of argue with you Speak and convince you. Praise the Lord. I did nothing to myself. Yeah. God worked it out. Yeah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. He worked it out. With no anniversaries, Amen. no kind of appreciation, right. no tithe for the pastor. Right. Come on. Right. Hello? Yeah. Come on. Huh? Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying that you have to be like me because you don't be nothing but a copier. Amen. Yes, I'm just yes, trying to say how God worked it out and showed me. Amen. So the people that are with me, when I came into holding this 50 odd years, almost 50 years ago, the problem, the arguments were that you couldn't have doctors, you couldn't have lawyers, you couldn't have accountants, you couldn't be a cop, you couldn't be a yes. this, you couldn't yes. be that, you couldn't be the other. Yes. So while other folks argue and are jealous because we have the document, yes. you can have doctors, you can have lawyers, yes. you can have accountants, yes. you can have computers, yes. you can have vice presidents, you can have senior presidents. Yes. Praise yes. the Lord. Yes. Right in God's church. Yes. And you still can be saved. Praise the Lord, and you don't have to act like you're serving a God. Praise the Lord, that only operates in the ghetto. You're right. You're right. I don't understand that mentality. You're right. Amen. If the earth is the Lord's, the fullness, the fullness thereof, if there's one and a half billion Chinese, why can't we get the pattern in China? Amen. The Orientals. Yeah. Amen. Yes, sir. If there's one billion Indians, why can't we get the pattern of work in India. Yeah. If we can go out to Europe, because they happen to be Caucasian, uh -huh. praise the Lord, and they say they're Catholics, why write them off? Amen. Why can't we get it back to the pattern? You yeah. see, we talk stuff, but we don't believe it. Praise the Lord. So in our church, God give us Irish, he gives us Italians, he gives us Spanish, he gives us blacks, mm -hmm. and then he gives us the mix. Yeah. Praise the Lord. And I don't have no axe to grind with what God is doing. Amen. Praise right. the Lord. I just thank God for it. I believe the only thing that's wrong with our church, we don't have enough mixture. Amen. <laughs> you hear me? 
I say is in our church, we just don't have enough yes. mixture. Yes. But we're working on that. Uh -huh. Huh? Yes, we are working on that. Yes. Because I believe God has a 